Brand new comedy now on BBC Two Scotland. Meet Frank, who's looking for a new direction in freedom. That's me, by the way, Frank Higgins. Frank by name and Higgins by nature. I was just doing a few exercises there because I've been getting a sore knee when I sleep. My leg keeps getting caught in the duvet. They didn't have any blackberries. I hope it's not too green for you. No, that looks a nice shade of green. Oh, I'm glad you like it. That's Jo, my wife. She does alternative therapies, like aromatherapy and counselling. She suggested I try duvet assertiveness therapy. So far, so good. Hi, that's my pal. I call him Doug. Although it's not just me. Everyone else calls him Doug too. I think it's mainly because that's his name. Oh, and I was wanting to tell you about something that happened last Monday. Joe was feeling a wee bit funny that morning. I feel a wee bit funny this morning. I, I thought you were feeling a wee bit funny. I didn't sleep well last night. I had another of those strange dreams. Oh, all dreams are strange. It's perfectly normal. Was it the one with the goat reading the news? No, it wasn't. Was it the one where we buy a half price tent? No, I had that one first. Although the tent was back up to full price. So we didn't buy it. So what dream was it then? Oh, it was that dream. You know, the one where you're having an affair. Oh, that strange dream. That is strange. I mean, I can see the point in dreaming about buying a half price tent. That represents good value. But me having an affair? What's that all about? I know, I find it all a bit weird. Me too. I was fast asleep. Didn't even know I was in your dream. So, what's she like, this woman? Well, I never see her face, but she's got dark hair. She's dressed in grey. And last night, I saw you touch her leg. It's probably all perfectly innocent. Maybe her leg was itchy and she couldn't scratch it because she was holding on to something. I don't think she was holding on to something. Oh, it's only a dream. So what are you up to today? I'm pretty busy. I'm hanging out with Doug. Cos I was speaking to Jan. You remember Jan? Part-time vegetarian. Is she the one who eats a kebab every Tuesday? That's the one. Anyway, she was saying they're looking for new tour guides up at the castle. I thought maybe you could apply. I could. But that's a bit of a come-down from assistant research assistant at the university. I know. You loved that job. Even though you had no idea what it was you were supposed to be researching. In fairness, towards the end, I was pretty close to finding out. Well, why don't you think about it? You know, I don't want to be the one that pushes you into a job you don't like. But at the same time, you'd look good in the uniform. Oh, there's a uniform. Why didn't you see? I used to look good in my school uniform. And my lab coat, come to think of it. Even though white's not really your colour. I wonder if you get to wear a hat. I think you do get to wear a hat. Well, if there's a hat, this is sounding better and better. Maybe I'll take a wander up to the castle later on and see what's what. Right. Oh, well, if that is the time, I'd better be off. Well, I'll walk you to work. It's a nice day today. Yes, it's lovely. Well, thanks for walking me to work. 
That's okay. I always enjoy this walk. I notice different things every time. Oh, it's you. Aye, it's me. Who are you expecting like your fancy woman? Oh, don't you start, Duke. Joe's been going on about this strange dream she keeps having where I'm having an affair with another woman. I hope you told her that all dreams are strange. Aye, I did. That's good, Frank. You did the right thing. It's a bit strange, though. I mean, I'm never like that in my dreams. Nor in mine. Exactly. I'm well behaved, even in dreams. I don't do affairs. Ach, there's no chance at any of that. You and Joe are made for each other. I mean, Joe is a highly educated, self-employed businesswoman, and you are the one and only Frank Higgins. Hmm. Winner of the Alva Hill race in 1996. That hill was uphill all the way. Mm. And let's not forget historic Scotland membership card holder. That card opens lots of doors. <sighs> Listen, Frank, I've got some news. I met someone. That's not really news, Duke. I mean, I've just heard they're looking for tour guides up at the castle. Now that's news. Why isn't my news news? Because you're always meeting someone. And the day before yesterday, you met someone at the train station. No, that's not entirely true. That was the day before the day before yesterday. The day before yesterday was a girl at the travel agents. Why, well, so it was. I've got girl and travel agents down here. But you know, yesterday's girl was totally different. Your advice really worked. See, I knew it would. What was my advice again? Oh, uh, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget, which was part of the advice that you gave me. I was on fire that day. Let's see what you wrote. It's important to write down good advice. Good advice, that. Be prepared and make sure you let someone know which path you're going up so that the mountain rescue helicopter can find you easily. That's the wrong bit of advice. Aye, that sounds like the advice for the second date when you arrange for her to go hill walking. What's she like, then? I think she's Irish. Oh, I love an Irish accent. Well, I think she is. I mean, I've no spoken to her yet, but I stared at her all night in the pub and I'm pretty sure she is. But if you didn't speak to her, what makes you think she's Irish? She has dark hair. And? And? It's a fact that all Irish girls have dark hair. Fair enough. You've got a good point there. But then again, she could well turn out to be Italian or Bulgarian. Uh. Or even Scottish. Quite a few Scottish women with dark hair. I suppose that's where my whole Irish dark hair theory falls down. Well, it's one of the more obvious flaws in your argument. But this time, I've made up my mind. I'm going to take positive action and I'm not going to let this opportunity pass me by. I'm proud of you, Duke. Are you going to ask her out? No, no, no. No yet, anyway. I've decided that first off I'm going to play hard to get. 